Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Runo Omokri reveals email he got from the Vice President, Professor Yemi Usibanjo, on the massacre. My people, this is very delicate. It's a very serious matter and we must pay attention seriously. So the Vice President of the country knows what to do. But guess what, my people? His hands are tied. This guy is in chains. If he tries to do anything against the president, they will say he's, you know, he's planning a coup. They will tell you that he's, the, he's trying to overthrow the president and it may lead to, you know, further sanctions on him. The vice president may even go to jail or prison, what have you. So currently now, as we speak, the vice president, you know, Runo Mokri, revealed a, a, a letter that was sent to him by the vice president with regards to what happened in Baranu State. My people, you will not believe it. Let's get straight into the news so you can understand what is sent to him. You know, I, I mean, Nigeria needs, we, we, need, we need salvation. Some way or the other, we need salvation. This is unbelievable. Runo Mokri reveals email he got from Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo on the Meduguri Baranu State Massacre. The Baranu State Massacre, which occurred some five days ago, which claimed the life of 43 rural farmers in the area, has attracted both local and international condemnation. The massacre has once again shed light on the pitiful situation of Nigeria's security hmm. and has also placed the president and his service chiefs in a bad light. Everybody can see for sure that they are not working and the country is going nowhere. It is evident that the vice president of this country will want to do something about things, but his hands are tied. Following the massacre, Nigerians have called for the sack or resignation of the ch ch service chiefs as well as the president of the country for incompetences. As the security situation is now largely being discussed by everyone, every corner and every well-meaning Nigerian, Runo Mokri has been very vocal in the disdain of the president's administration not even sparing the vice president of the country, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, in the claim and all that is going on. He claimed that the vice president of Nigeria, Osibanjo, sent him an email to him via his official, sent an email to him officially four days ago after the incident about his speech and the phrases, my heart goes out to the victim. Runo Mokri claims that Nigerians do not need his heart to go to those who have lost their life, but to secure the nation and prevent this from occurring again. In his post, he said, I received this email from Vice President Professor Emil Sibanjo after five days of what happened in Baranu State. Five days ago, the only, we only know now that Professor Emil Sibanjo heart goes out to all. That's all from the vice president and he displayed the email. What, you know, he sent a personal email to Professor Yemi Osiba and just saying, what are you doing about all that is going on? Will you keep quiet and continue to allow this to happen? Well, the vice president replied by saying, I just, re I, just I received your email and my heart goes out to all. That's all the vice president said. My heart goes out to all. That was all he said. Runo Mokri said, we don't need your heart to go out to all. We don't need your heart to go out to all. We need you to get on board. We need you to do what you need to do. If there is something that has been secret, that is, secret, that is, that is, been, that is hidden, that you know that can save Nigeria, you need to speak up. Enough of your heart going out to all. When the youth came on the street to say enough of insecurity, all the vice presidents of this country said was, and we are sorry, I'm sorry, we have failed the youth. How does that help the price of fish in the market? Will you help by saying your heart goes to all? You know, whatever happens to this administration, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, is also on you. Because if you know something that, you see, make it clear. They are not looking for, you know, you are not looking to take over from him. But there are abnormalities. And if you have evidences beyond all reasonable doubt, why not prove it? Why not present it so that Nigeria can be safe? 
Why not do something about it rather than sending your heart to all? Listen, there is evil going on currently in our country. And people that are allowing this evil to occur and to continue to, continue to happen, you know, it's a shameful thing that they know what to do, but they are not doing it. They know what, you know, here and there, what they can do to aid and to make sure that Nigerians are safe. But guess what? They are not prepared to do it. And it's clear that they are not prepared to do it. Their disposition shows it. And that's why Nigerians are not happy with Professor Emil Sibanjo. He should have done more. Yes, he should have done more. He should have gone all out and even, you know, speak for Nigerians rather than saying, my heart goes out to all. So Rumor Mokri took it upon himself to send the vice president an email saying, ah, ah, Oga, can't you see what's happening in this country? How come you are so comfortable, you are quiet, you are not saying anything? What's going on? What's the matter, really? And who, 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 are, who are you trying to? We don't get it. Can you speak? Can you do something? Is there something you can do to help the situation of what's going on in Nigeria? The vice president replied very cleverly. Not inviting or implicating himself in any way. All he replied was, I receive your email. My heart goes out to the families. How did they help anybody? Yes, your heart goes out so. Okay. Your heart has gone out. Okay. How does he help the price of fish in the market? Somebody please talk to me. Your heart has gone out. Yes. But children have become fatherless. Wives has become widow. Some husbands have become widower. People are suffering. People are dying. And all your heart can do is go out. Is that all you told us you were going to do as a vice president? Is that all you can do? Is there not a cause? Who knows if you are a vice president for a time such as this? And you are keeping quiet and allowing evil to happen in Nigeria. You are not doing well, oh, vice president. We must tell you the truth. Oh. Whoever is deceiving you and telling you are doing well, the person is lying to you. Largely lying to you. The person is not telling you the truth at all. That person is deceiving you. It's not making you realize or recognize that evil is happening in our government. And if you keep quiet, silence they say is consensus. You agree. You are in line with it. You have no objection. That's what silence means. So that's how silence is being read. That's how silence is being perceived. So if you have something to say, you know something to do that could actually serve the situation of what's going on in this country and you keep quiet, you are not doing well. Anyway, my people, this is happening. Vice President Yemi Sibanjo, all he replied was, my heart goes out to all. I don't know, but I would like to hear from you. I would like to know what your takes are on this matter. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.